This video is going to be about the two-sided provisional cast on that's on this edge of the lepho cardigan. To do this, of course, you're going to need to have your sleeve ready to go. You'll need some waist yarn, a crochet hook, a size smaller needle for be for picking up stitches. So I'm mine is on eights. I have a four here, and then a longer cord. This is a I believe it's a 47 inch cord and these are eights. I have a chain to begin with. Uh, you, you put on more stitches than you're going to need. And I come to the end of my row. Here's my beginning of round marker, which I'm just leaving in. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use this chain Let's see, let me show you. This is the front side of the chain, and this is the back side of the chain, and here are pearl bumps there. If I close up on them, you can't see through it, but there's the pearl bumps. I'm gonna use those to pick up. I put the last loop on my needle just to stabilize it. I am in no means an expert at this, so don't expect this to be some glorious video, but I'll just show you how I did it. So I look for the first pearl bump, it's right there. And I'm gonna go down into it with my crochet hook. Okay, grab the yarn, pull it through, and put it on my needle. And of course I have two strands, so I have to get them both on. The first stitch I, is gonna be the most awkward. <laughs> Here comes do I have this on camera? I hope so. Here comes the second stitch. And of course, I go in there, I grab the yarn, I pull it through, and I put it on my needle. And I'll keep doing that 37 times. And I left my beginning of row marker in so I could count and I've double checked and I have 37 stitches. I'm going to turn the work and I'm going to grab my new longer needle here and I'm going to purl all of these 37 stitches and then all of the stitches as well that are on my sleeve. Okay, so now I have, you know, my 37 here, and then all of my stitches have been purled, and my circular needle goes away, and everything is on this longer cable, and I'm right here. And then I'm going to do the next step. Then I'm gonna need my smaller needle to pick up with, and what I'm gonna be picking up are these purl bumps that are in the main color inside of your crochet chain and I'm going from the outer edge toward the armpit and I'm I should have 37 of these pearl bumps so I'll count to make sure that I have the right number. The first one is a little you know deceptive looking it's this one so I'm going to pick those up I pick them up like this with my smaller needle And you can see why you need a smaller needle to pick those up. There's four. The 
Okay, I picked these up and I picked them any old way I could. I will orient them correctly as I approach the stitches, but we're gonna switch directions again and we're gonna resume using our working yarn and we're gonna purl all of these things that we just picked up over to the edge. I can go ahead and pick them up any way I want as long as I purl them off correctly. And so this is the leg that is attached over to the right, so this will be the leg that I purl here. And same with this. That's why I'm purling this way, is because I don't want to twist my stitches. I was putting them on the correct way, but it was taking me too long and it was awkward, so I figured I could purl them off and untwist them. But I might come to a few every once in a while that I have oriented correctly. And in that case, I would purl the front leg. This is simply to untwist these stitches so I could pick them up as best I could. Now that I've made it all the way around, I'm going to be working flat, so I will have to garter, you know, the edges here. So these will always be knit, but when I turn, I'm going to purl back and I'll end up here and then I'll turn and I'll knit back. But at this point, I can unzip the crochet. I've never successfully unzipped a crocheted cast on. I usually just pick them out but we'll see what happens. Mine is not going to unzip because there's mohair and the mohair is just not having it. It keeps pulling on my thing and I have to unrelease the mohair every stitch or so. But um, you, would, you could, if you didn't have mohair, probably unzip the chain, but I'm not able to. Oh, there I got a little bit unzipping. But, like I said, my mohair is catching it. But there you have it. I'm ready to go knit this stitch and purl all the way around.